Almost every single argument that can be used to justify abortion can also be used to justify ending the life of an infant, or in some cases, ending anyone's life. You say that a fetus feeds off of his mother's body. Well, so does an infant. If the mother is present and capable, he is feeding off of her breast. You say that a fetus can't survive on his own before a certain point. Well, neither can an infant or a toddler or a child. Anyone who requires outside assistance in order to breathe or eat or exist, really none of us can survive on our own, but definitely an infant cannot survive on his own. You say that a fetus isn't sentient and that it doesn't know the difference. Well, an infant doesn't have a profound sentience. He doesn't have a deep understanding of life or what you are taking from him when you take his life. He may feel physical pain, but so does a fetus after a certain point. An infant doesn't know the difference. Really, none of us know the difference if you end our lives because we're dead. So why not just end the life of anyone who's inconvenient? The truth is there's very little difference between a fetus in utero and an infant. It's just that a fetus in utero can't be seen. He can't be felt by anyone besides his mother, and it's easy to look the other way as you take that life. But a newborn, we can see and feel. We viscerally understand his humanity, and suddenly, magically, it is wrong, legally and morally, to take that life because we understand it's separate. But it was always separate. It's just now we can see it. And the other truth is that every single human and civil rights violation, past and present, has been predicated on the other group, the lesser group, the not fully human group. This is no different, but keep on thinking you're on the side of rights.